you need to figure out a way to to get them where it's where you're giving them energy rather than only taking. Yeah, I, I love that because you know we'll, we'll get emails from people saying, "Oh, I want to sign up for your program, but I don't have any money." And to me, I'm not going to give something away for free because people don't value it, you know, unless they're maybe asking a few questions, like you like you said in that way. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. I mean, I, I think this whole idea too that that uh, that people say they can't afford things is is really ridiculous. I never buy that into that uh, because when I first <laughs> met Bob. I uh, he uh, when he told me that I could make in a month what I used to make in a year, um, and I believed him. I said, "Well, I'll do anything you tell me." He said, "Okay, sign up for my seminar." I said, "How much is it?" He said, "7,500 hundred bucks." I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> I didn't even know there were seminars that were that expensive. Well, sixty days later, actually, let me tell you. So sixty days later, I had two hundred thousand dollars in my pocket. Now, I couldn't afford to go to that seminar when I went to it. I had to borrow money. In fact, I said to him the magic words that most of the people listening to this will say, I can't afford to go to that program. I told him that. And here's what he said, and I'll say this to the people too because it's so true. If you're ready to stop living on excuses, this is what he told me, if you're ready to stop living on excuses, you'll figure out a way to get to that seminar. And I have found in my life that I have found money for everything that I seriously wanted. People can be creative. You can figure out a way. You're smart enough to figure out a way. The question that people need to ask themselves, if they've been living their lives up to this point, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, and they can't afford to attend a personal development seminar, they need it more than anybody. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. And Jerry, you were mentioning earlier about habits, and I know you go more into this in, in your book in Chapter 2. So what do you feel are some of the most important habits to master in order to become a millionaire? I think essentially there's only one problem that all of us have, and that is awareness. The only thing that we need to change is our level of awareness. You know, a person who earns a hundred thousand dollars a year is not earning a hundred because they want to earn a hundred, because they don't know how to make a hundred every month. And so you got to raise your level of awareness, and that comes by investing in yourself. Now, I, and, and listen, I'm telling everybody this that that's the thing that they got to do more than anything else: invest in themselves. I'm always going to seminars. I'm always buying things. I spend money on coaches. I, I spent forty-two thousand dollars a month. For three months last year, just to be coached in one area of my business, forty-two thousand a month. Now I didn't. So people will say, who may be listening to this, well, he has the money, so therefore he can afford to do that. Is it that, or is it I do that, therefore I can afford to do those things? 